Hello friends, this video on fractions part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. Are all these fractions equivalent? So first of all, we need to determine what are these fractions. So basically, in order to find out how much is each of these fractions, you count the total uh, number of circles in each of these diagrams and the number of shaded circles. So we will do that in for each of them, the total circles and the shaded circles. And then we will see what fraction of the circles are shaded. So here, how many total circles? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And how many shaded? 4. Here, total is 9 and shaded is 3. Here, total is 6 and shaded is 2. Here total is 3, shaded is 1. Here total is 15 and shaded is 6. So now let us try to find out what fraction in each of these figures is shaded. So for the first one it would be 4 shaded out of 12. Second one 3 out of 9. Third one 2 out of 6. 1 out of 3. 6 out of 15. Now look at each of these. Do you think that they are equivalent? Okay. So for that, let us try to convert each of them into their simplest form. Right? So 4 and 12. So the highest common factor that is HCF in case of 4 and 12 is 3. It is 4 actually. So let us divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. So what do we get? 1 by 3. So in this case, 3 by 9, the HCF in this case would be 3. So let's divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. So we get 1 by 3. 2 by 6, in this case also the HCF would be 2. So divide the numerator and the denominator by 2, you get 1 by 3. In this case, it is already in its simplest form. So it's in what? It's 1 by 3. For 6 by 15, the HCF here is 3. So you divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. So you get 2 by 5. Now look at the simplest form of each of these fractions. And you see that for 4 of them it is the same that is 1 by 3. So that shows that the first 4 fractions are equivalent. But the last one is not. Because the last one doesn't represent the same number 1 by 3. The last one represents 2 by 5. So the first four fractions are equivalent. Question number six. Write the fractions and pair up the equivalent fractions from each row. So first let us write the fractions. So how do we write the fraction? We will see how many triangles are there. For this particular image, we see the total number of triangles like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So total we have 18 small triangles and out of those 18 triangles how many are shaded 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 6 out of 18 are shaded here let's look at the second one here we have small rectangles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total 8 out of which how many shaded 1 2 3 and 4 so 4 out of 8 are shaded third one here again we have squares how many squares 1 2 3 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So total 16 squares and how many are shaded? 12 of them are shaded. So it is 12 by 16. Here again we have rectangles like this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So total 12 out of which 8 are shaded. In this case, again, we have triangles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And out of these many, only 4 triangles are shaded. So these are the fractions. Now let us try to convert each of them into the simplest form to 6 and 18. So in this case, HCF is 6. So you divide the numerator and the denominator by 6. So you get 1 by 3. In this case, the HCF is 4. So, you will divide the numerator and denominator by 4. 
so you get 1 by 2. 12 by 16. So here the HCF is 4. Therefore, we will divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. So we get 3 by 4. 8 and 12. In this case, the HCF would again be 4. So therefore, 8 by 12, you divide it by 4 on both numerator and denominator. So you get 2 by 3. And finally, the last one, 4 and 16, here this case also the HCF is 4. So you divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. So you would get 1 by 4. So now let us compare the simplest form of all the fractions. And you see all of them are different. Which shows that there are no equivalent fractions pair exist here. So no equivalent fractions exist here. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.